So we're here at the Parisoma in San Francisco and we just had the last session of the Future of Work series and I'm with uh, Dan Rasmus. Thanks for, for coming in today. What was your kind of uh, takeaway today? Well, I think the biggest thing we had was consensus was that most organizations don't really think about the future in a very robust way. We gave examples of how we've helped some companies, but it's really a pretty small percentage of companies that, that use scenario planning or actually actively engage in the future. Uh, and you know, one of the things that I think is uh, you know, very uh, important, and I think we kind of heard as an undertone, was that you know, everybody in the room is thinking about the, what role are they going to play in the future? How are they going to work? How are they going to live? Uh, and I think that uh, you know, people owning that future themselves and taking control of that, uh, either you know, doing projects at work or doing it for themselves is extremely important. Think about you know what value you want to bring to the to to the workplace. It may be multiple workplaces that you don't have to have just one hat in the future. Uh, and a lot of people uh, you know kind of still have this. I've got to train for a particular career. I've got to live in that career. I'm kind of stuck in that world. It's not true anymore. It's a very open world. Uh, you know what you do in the United States may be different than some job that you have at night doing something in China or India or Europe or wherever. Uh, and so there's a lot of possibilities, uh, and you need to decide what you want to be. I mean, one of the choices you can make is that you want to be stuck in a locked-in job, mm -hmm. right? And use the tools and the techniques that your bosses tell you how to do, right? Or you can say, you know, I'm, uh, you know, smart and agile and adaptive, and I can look at these tools and I can figure out ways of getting value out of them. I can sell that value to places, and I can be, you know, uh, you know, kind of my own person in terms of the workplace. Foresight work, futurist work, is a way of inoculating yourself, inoculating your organization against possibilities that aren't, that won't always happen, but you need to be aware of them because they might happen. I mean, we're accustomed to thinking about our own futures, our organizational futures, as essentially being more of the same, but maybe faster. Mm -hmm. And the goal of foresight work, futures work, is to really get you to see that there's some really big possibilities out there that are perhaps seemingly outside of your industry, outside of your area, but will impact your area pretty dramatically. One thing that you really have to keep in mind, one thing that's really important to remember, is that when you look ahead and you see big changes happening, oh, Moore's Law, or right? the emergence of artificial intelligence, sort of go down the list of really big, scary changes, they don't happen overnight. In the fact, they happen in a way that we look ahead and it looks really scary because we're, we're mentally jumping from here to there. But in reality, we progress day by day, moment by moment. 